regardless if you are with somebody or not, um, uh, these, these texts can be given to a significant other, somebody in your inner circle, some close person in your life. Um, all right. Uh, you can also let your significant other listen to this class if these texts are something that you would like to hear from them. So for the purpose of this class, I will continuously um, refer to these uh, texts at, from, from or to your spouse. Um, but again, they can apply to anyone, including yourself, especially because after our all, our real supposed to be our own best friend. All right, um, we all, or at least the majority of us all text. While the idea of firing off a text may seem a little lazy, a well-crafted text message of love, support, and appreciation can do quite a lot of, of good, um, especially in the moment. It can also cut through a lot of noise that occurs when your partner or anyone significant is particularly stressed. Not to mention this will, um, this, this will go the extra mile for those that um, whose love language uh, is their um, words uh, is their love language, any type of words of affirmation. So, um, and there's a lot of people out there that have words of affirmation as their primary love language. Everybody has the love language of words of affirmation might not just be their primary. Now, texting is great because sometimes um, if you say something um, uh, to a person, uh, that might be defensive because he or she is on edge. Um, this uh, this could be read um, with no obligation um, of a response. So so a text is good because they're read at their convenience and they're responded to at their convenience. A loving text message um, showing patience, creativity, um, or common sense can help keep a relationship pointing toward true north. Keep in mind, in terms of stress, the supportive partner must remember to be kind to themselves as well. It could be incredibly distressing to watch your partner go through a challenging period in their life or your partner watching you go through a challenging period in your life, even if they're the ones that cause those challenges um, unintentionally, um, but I won't do well. The balance between self-care and being supportive, regardless of who is doing what, is a delicate and highly dependent one on uh, which how much energy each of you um, have at the time. Finding support strategies that work for your partner while protecting your own mental and emotional health is an important key to a healthy relationship during difficult times. So many times we like to give so much of our energy to other people to encourage them that we return to an empty cup. So always remember, um, and again, not to derail, um, your cup always has to be full. Your cup is what's yours. What overflows out of your cup is for others. Supportive task, task, texts can be a, uh, a smart strategy. They are read at the convenience of the receiver and there's no obligation, like I said, to respond, um, at least anytime soon. Um, but what kind of text should you consider sending or that you would like to read? Here are a dozen texts send to your partner or your significant other or your friend or even yourself or like I said share this class with somebody who uh, could use a little reminder of some text that people want to hear and read um, especially during times of stress and the holidays are here so who's not stressed <laughs> in one way or the other all right I just want to say before I give you these texts that these were actually um, research-based um, now I can't say that they're you know this is tremendously mind-blowing research, but it, these aren't just random texts. These were actually um, asked. There was a poll taken. So, um, so there is some significance to the authenticity. So number one, the first one is you're killing it in the most important ways. Your partner's stress may come from misconceptions about their importance and the stuff that they may, may be nervous about may overshadow their actual accomplishments. When we're feeling overwhelmed and stressed in one area of our life, it's easy to overlook or discount all the other areas where we're thriving. Send your partner a simple message of verbal encouragement and acknowledgement to remind them how well that they're doing um, in other, perhaps more important areas of their life. 
ignoring the losses in favor of the wins, um, no matter how big or small. So I always equate this to, um, you know, for instance, let's just say you're, you know, a single parent and you just send them a text, hey, you are killing this in all the important ways. You know what? Maybe they had cereal for dinner because they were so overwhelmed with other things they couldn't make time on dinner. You know what? That's not important. The fact is you showed up for your kids. So that text, you're killing it in the most important ways, um, uh, applies on a much deeper level than, you know, what, what's just the title. Two, um, how does takeout in a movie sound tonight? Man, I'll tell you, that would be a text I'd love to receive, especially because I'm the primary cook in the family. But uh, whenever your partner's uh, uh, pleasure, a simple gesture combining a relaxing activity and a good meal can remind them that they're worth it. When your partner is stressed, don't ask the question that needs more than a two-word answer or questions that uh, require a decision, especially because most of us are already mentally drained making choices all day. And we are, and we do. We make choices all day. Big choices, small choices, medium choices, choices all day. So to have somebody make the choice for us, woohoo. Um, instead, make the choice for them and suggest something specific that requires only a simple response like, sure, or sounds great. This text message works particularly well uh, if you have a partner who appreciates acts of service and support. So send the text uh, and cross your fingers that your partner is on board and certainly appreciates your gesture. Uh, text three, I appreciate you and all that you do. It's always important to express appreciation for your partner or anyone you know special in your circle and all that they do, especially during times of increased stress. When feeling stressed and overwhelmed, it often, it's often because we feel unacknowledged or unappreciated. Sending a text message with specific and genuine words of appreciation can help remind them that the most important person in their life values and acknowledges all of their hard work. The key to being specific, letting your partner or whomever know, uh, how much you appreciate uh, the spontaneous dishwashing emptying, the trash being taken out, or any other chore or duty um, that keeps your household thriving or help you um, receive in any capacity. So um, who doesn't want to receive a text like that? Who wouldn't want to receive a text like that? Number four, uh, very simple, this weekend let's and then you fill in the blank. Having something to look forward to can often be energizing and empowering. So think about something that refuels your partner and makes them excited. The anticipation can help them de-stress. Many people truly appreciate having something to look forward to. I know I do. Um, I mean, yeah, we all look forward to the weekend, but it would be nice to look forward to something specific on the weekend, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed. Suggesting a specific experience or activity that you already know your partner enjoys is a fabulous way uh, to both give them something to look forward to and show them you care about their mental health, not to mention that you're thinking of them, which is why you sent them the text in the first place. So do your best to plan and arrange uh, the experience so they can just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And again, you're, some of you are probably watching this saying, I are you serious after what they just did to me? Well, okay, this doesn't apply to you then. Um, or number two, maybe maybe this could be something they could give to you. Five, um, I like you more than I care about the other stuff. When your partner or someone special in your life, again, um, pushes themselves to their limits, it's often helpful to remind them that it's them that you value most, not necessarily what they're doing or what, or what outcome is, is happening from their doing. It's just they themselves you appreciate. Often others have a difficult time truly accepting this is the case. So remind them of their value regularly with your words and, um, and actions. It could be quite powerful. Send a text that, text that lets them know that you're not only proud of their accomplishments, but more importantly, you are simply interested in loving them no matter what the situation is. You know, I always uh, say to people, you know, home is not the four walls that you're in. Home is, is the love, uh, the love that you provide no matter where you are. So if you live in a mansion or a cardboard box, that's home. So, you know, make it, make it, um, make it about the person, not necessarily the outcome. Six, um, I'm sorry you're under so much pressure right now. 
you know, whether it's work, parenting, family troubles, or some other source of stress, you don't even, um, something maybe you don't even understand, a tiny text of empathy can certainly go a long way. Genuine and compassionate words of support can be powerfully supportive. When you have a stressed partner who's verbally oriented, they will truly appreciate reading your words of compassion. They'll truly appreciate your appreciation, um, text, and your understanding. So it'll be right there in black and white for them to read and reread whenever they feel alone or under pressure. And it's nice not to feel alone, especially if you're stressed or overwhelmed. Number seven, tell me what's on your mind. You know, stress clouds the mind and makes you feel alone. It's important to remind your partner or significant other or spouse or whoever's, you know, in your inner circle that you have their back by giving them a license to scream or to shout or to vent, or let it all out. Um, right now, your partner needs a friend and you're stepping up to fill that need. You're telling your partner that he or she can express anything freely and interrupted while all you do is listen. You know, oftentimes we just need somebody to listen to us. We don't need anybody to give us advice on how to fix it or, you know, their input or their anything. We just, we just want to vent, you know, I mean, a lot of us are, are like soda bottles, you know, you shake and shake and shake and you're just so pent up. You need to release that cap. Um, so through acceptance, support, and kindness, um, your partner will understand and appreciate how committed you are to the relationship just by a simple text. Number eight, let me be there for you. You know that your partner is going through a rough time. So offering yourself in the form of advice, um, a friendly ear, or providing some personal space they need tells your partner that he or she is not alone and that you understand they are not at their best right now. Many of us are stressed out and overwhelmed. Um, we just wanna curl into our caves. Um, and what we really need is human interaction, human connection. So um, tell your partner that you're there for them and, and you're there with them and you wanna help them to avoid exacerbating their stress through added feelings of helplessness. So basically you're just there for them. Uh, um, number nine, uh, a loving, connecting, enduring text is um, simply you are capable. Reaffirming your partner or whomever their capability can be a wake up call from mounting stress, helping remind them that they're on, uh, that you're on their team and rooting on the sidelines or rooting from the sidelines. Show and tell your partner that you love them um, uh, with encouragement. Let them know that you ex that uh, right now your wish is to support them, um, to support each other, and that the beauty of a healthy, loving relationship is that you have a fellow fellow traveler who shares the journey of life with you. Um, when I got married, somebody told us, you know, marriage is um, double the joy and um, half the stress. That sounds good on a card. If you put it in, 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 in reality, sometimes it's a different story, but, but really uh, a healthy marriage situation, that's really what it should be. It's the joys are doubled, the stresses are decreased. Um, number 10, simply put, man, this sucks. When your partner suffers, you suffer or vice versa. Uh, not in the sense of your partner bumming you out all the time, but in the case of your heart and soul being exclusively bonded with theirs. It's a storm and your partner may, may be going through hell. Um, let them know that you empathize with their struggle, even if it's only in spirit. Remind your partner that you're on this journey together and that you're here with them and understand what is currently going on sucks. Oftentimes you really can't help much. I mean, you know, there's th th my job, my spouse is, is an attorney um, and a very, uh, um, uh, he's a, um, uh, corporate, very niched, niched, however you pronounce it, N-I-C-H-E term. Um, so there's times I can't help with something, but you can let somebody know that, you know what, we're, we're, we're there together. We're, we're doing this life together. Number 11, um, ask me for help. My brilliant, brilliantly capable partner who may have been, uh, who may have forgotten how amazing he or she is hugs and kisses, uh, and a reminder that I'm eager to hear, what can I do to help this situation? Because oftentimes we don't know. 
that we need to ask, you know, they, they might say, well, listen, you know, you, you might not know, you know, what I need, or you might not know how to help me solve this problem. But one thing I could use right now is could you A, B, and C. And again, if this is a text that you would like to receive, send this class or send this uh, to somebody uh, that, that could hopefully send it to you. A straightforward approach um, to remind your partner that asking for help is truly a superpower. Because let's face it, a lot of people don't want to ask for help, you know, for whether they don't want to feel vulnerable, vulnerable or pride or what have you. The biggest problem with problem solving is believing that only you can solve your problem or your dilemma. Instead, um, acknowledging that we don't have all the answers shows humility and makes both partners feel needed and cared for. After all, if you are working on your relationship, you are supposed to be doing this together. So these are texts that can bring you together and connect you, bring you closer. Number 12, and the last one is, let's burn your problems seriously. To get unstuck, we often need a healthy distraction. We need a break from the unproductive obsessions that accompany being overwhelmed and stuck. That said, burning your partner's problems is a positively jarring proposal that they'd never expect. Ask your partner to write down what's stressing them out and then physically burn the piece of paper. Seriously, this will, this will, this is, this will actually jar anybody out of an overwhelming situation. Um, because we need to help each other stay healthy, we have to be ready to try something new, um, anything and everything that might do the trick. Another uh, option is to offer a quick workout. Uh, that way you are both physically, quote, burning the stress together. So if you say, Let me, let's burn this together, it could actually be a physical burning of what they wrote down, or it could be together. You guys are doing something together with a physical um, burn, an exercise, because as you know, when you exercise, that lets out all that great, you know, the, the dopamines and the, the oxytocins and all that other stuff that make us feel good. So um, I hope you at least were motivated to send uh, one of these um, text messages um, to someone, or like I said, have somebody watch this class so maybe they can send some of these text messages to you if this is something that speaks volumes to you. Um, for those in the beginning of your healing journey or not with a partner, I understand um, listening to this class might have been actually infuriating. I get it. Um, uh, but please, with all of my classes, try to remember to enjoy the meat and throw away the bone.